And this, this is how you ride in style. Dinosaur totem pole, thylacolio human archaeopteryx. We could probably do one better and, and probably put ourselves on a parasur platform saddle as well, just to just to increase the punchline. But I think that's pretty cool. Squirrel. What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here and we've got Super Stealthy Sneaky Mode activated at the moment. You can see we're on our Thylacolio Tazzy here and we've come across another Thylacolio. You can see there, chilling on the tree, is our potential victim. Now this is a 135 female Thylacolio. We are looking for a very high level male Thylacolio. However, all we seem to come across are female ones. However, this one has been a rather high level. So the plan for today is to tame this bad girl up, and we've also found a 140 Pteranodon um, over in that kind of direction. If you guys remember from the last few episodes, we've been after a Pteranodon. We did manage to tame one up. It was a 130, but we hit it accidentally with our Thylacolio by accidentally just pressing the button. So it dropped about a lot. It dropped a lot. So it's only level gone up 40 levels from its actual base. Uh, base level which was 130 so I think it's like 173 at the moment so we're going to tame up a 140 just to get that extra few levels make him powerful and we're going to tame this bad girl up so we're a little bit hesitant because Thylacolio is notorious for knocking riders off their mounts now as well as that you're probably noticing on our hot bar an ascendant pump action shotgun that's right Ooh, freaked me out it did like a little dance move and I was like oh god it's going to attack me um, we actually got the Ascendant shotgun from a supply drop we, along with, I think, a Mastercraft yeah, Sabertooth saddle and the Behemoth Gateway. It had that little yellow ring around it. So we're really lucky in that regard managing to get it, uh, which is really good. So what we're going to do is going to try and knock this little guy out. Oh, God. Okay. So we've knocked her off the tree. I don't know if she'll come after us now or if she's just going to... You're going to chill down there and let us attack you? What are you doing? You're gonna come up the mountain? Can you make it up? Oh, okay, she can make it up the mountain. Run, run, Tazzy, run. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna. I don't know if you can. Can you wield crossbows? Yes, you can. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Yeah, get me up here now. Where'd she go? Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh. Okay, great. Well, <laughs> we've lost the one. There she is. We've lost the 135 Thylacolio team, and we found her again. I don't know if this is gonna hit our one or her. There we go. Okay, she's she's lost interest in us now. We're going to come down here. We're just going to let Tazzy tank the shots. Tank the damage. Tazzy can handle it. It's only what? How much damage? I can't see. I can't see! Let's, let's get out of the bushes. Let's come into the clearing here. And rotate. There we go. It's only dealing 33 damage, which isn't too bad. We can just stand here and take the damage. It's nothing too serious. Tazzy's got, I think, 10k health. So she'll be right. What are you running away from us for? You can't obviously... You seriously cannot be knocked out yet. I was going to say, that, that's ridiculous. We've only shot you like four times. We've only got 20 Trank Arrows. So we're going to we're gonna have to make it enough. I think we'll have we'll have plenty of Trank Arrows to take out the Pteranodon. I'm not worried whatsoever about the Pteranodon. It's just getting this Thylacolia knocked out. Now, the Pteranodon is floating over like a lake. So we've got to be really careful in terms of knocking it out because we don't really want to drown it considering we want to tame it. And drowning it would result in its death. But you are a pretty little thylacolio. You're all black. Our tazzy here is a little bit of orange and red. So you're probably wondering why we're trying to knock out another thylacolio. Well, just because thylacolios are awesome. And as well as that, we also want to eventually get into breeding them, which is why we're looking for another male as well. Now, I can't... Okay, she's running away. So, no, put the, the bloody trunk thing away. Where where she go? There she is. Oh, God, that was scary. Right up in our face. There we go. Now she should, she should pretty much be knocked out. That should be enough. Just go to sleep. Just, oh God, it's so annoying sometimes trying to get like, while riding and trying to use your tools on riding. Uh, no, don't go this way. Stop, stop. Okay, we might have to, we're running out of train carriers here. We're going to have to go normal mode. We're just going to have to wait till she gets stuck somewhere. Stuck. Stay. Seriously? Oh God. We can't do a 360 pivot? On the saddle, what is this M M mockery? That should have hit her. Did we get a hit off? I can't see anything. Oh, we found a we found a deer. Where's she gone? Curse these bushes! Hello, Thylacolio? Where'd you go? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There she is. Okay, so we got to try and get up. 
And finally, after running around in zigzags for God knows how long, we've managed to knock her out and relatively close to the base as well. The base is just over there. So we managed to get her knocked out. Finally, we ran out of trank, darts, trank arrows, sorry, so we had to craft some more up, but we've managed to get her out. So we're going to let her sit here for a little bit. I'm not sure how much torpor she loses per second. How much is she losing? Four per second. Hmm, I, I think we should have enough time to head over and tame up the Pteranodon, at least get it knocked out. So we're going to head over there now. Uh, we're going to leave her to starve for a little bit, and then we're going to go prime meat hunting. Mm -mm. Now, this just seems to be prime Pteranodon spawning. Look, you can see, look at all the Pteranodons stuck in the water. Just floating into the waterfall, you know, just chilling on their own. Oh, look, some of them are trying to get free now. So our 140 is out there. That's a one. That's a 45, 100. There he is, 140. Now we're gonna have to be really careful here because obviously it's floating, like just above the water. So what we might try doing is running away from the pigo mastics because we don't want to deal with them. Actually, whoa. Okay, I was I was not expecting that. So if we come over here, I don't know if that. See, sometimes you can shoot them. Oh my god, look at all the ones over there. Sometimes you can actually shoot them and, um, oh, okay, get back, get back on. Sometimes you can shoot them and they actually get glitched on like the, the walls and you can leave them there and they won't actually drown, which is really useful. But before we just knock him out, we're going to check out all these guys over here. I, I didn't actually remember seeing all these ones over here when we were here earlier. Uh, there's one there. Oh, he's nice and white. 45. What are you? 95. Yeah, that 140 looks like it's going to be our best bet. Now, unfortunately, what are we, we're going to have to be really carefully. I'm hoping it should, I don't see why it wouldn't get stuck on the terrain. And then it shouldn't actually drown. So we're going to shoot in the noggin. That should be enough to knock it out. We're going to get one more off into it. There we go. Now that should knock it out. You're going to go to sleep, buddy? You're going to make my life and your life much more difficult. Okay, just knock us into the water, you rude, bloody pteranodon. Okay, and what we were worried about. <laughs> so I've just screwed up the Tyrannodon team. He's gonna, he's probably going to die. How much is his food dropping by? You know what? We might... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to get it off in time. Yeah, he's losing too much oxygen too fast. <laughs> Can we get like a rebreather or something and stick it on him? I don't think we're going to make it in time to be able to team him up. I mean, we can sure as hell try. We've got a... Oh wait, there's a Tyrannodon here. here. Hold on. We might, we might get lucky and find a 150 stuck in this waterfall here. And then maybe we'll be smarter about it and put something underneath. Nope, never mind. It's only a level 15. Okay, so we're going to try... Oh, get out of the... Climb! Father Collie, you have one job. Climb up walls and trees. Can you can you please climb up the wall for me? I, I didn't mean to be rude. Okay, get stuck on the wall. Sure. Okay, looks like nothing wants to cooperate with us today. We're going to jump off here. That's a Diplodocus over there. We might try and take this guy out. He's only a level 15. Yeah, we should be able to take him out. That'll give us prime meat for the Tyrannodon if it survives and the Thylacolio if it's still asleep by the time we get over there. So we're hoping we haven't just screwed ourselves over royally by uh, by trying to knock out this Tyrannodon and drowning it and then losing the Thylacolio as well in the process because that would be horrendous and then we'd have to spend all that time chasing after the Thylacolio again and trying to knock it out. So we're going to try and kill this Diplodocus if we're a strong enough and Fast enough, yeah, he's, he's already bloody. He should be, shouldn't be too much longer. Luckily, it's only a low level and we should get plenty of prime meat over it. Uh, we should, there we go. Done, done, done. 24 prime meat, perfect. Okay, swim, Falico, swim. All right, where's that Tyrannodon? I cannot see him. Is he there? Now, now we've got to get, now the challenge is to find him again. And okay, he should be just here. There he is. Wait, where is he? I know where he is. There he is. I think he's going to be dead, to be honest. I don't think he's going to survive. Uh, doesn't mean we can't try. Positivity, guys. Got to stick with the positivity. He's, he's not even going to eat one, let alone three. Unless he miraculously just tames up, which I highly doubt. He's going to be dead anyway. And if he's not dead, he'll be taking damage. So we'll actually... Yeah, you can see he's already taken damage. So he's... Uh, oh, no, we might, we might make it in time. How much is one going to take? You're going to eat it, buddy? Even though you're underwater and it's probably impossible for you to un eat underwater? Why haven't you eaten yet? There we go. No, yep. Okay, here's a lost cause. We're going to head back to the Thylacolio and make sure that's still out. At least one thing's gone right today. We've got a Thylacolio pretty much tamed up. Okay, so we're back at our Thylacolio that we've knocked out. And this should pretty much be a perfect tame. It doesn't look like it's taken any damage from any of the surrounding creatures, such as the terror bird that we just absolutely annihilated, but you guys didn't see. It was getting rather close to our Thylacolio, and we'd rather it not 
be alive to live. Uh, we're going to take all the prime off him. There we go. And some primitive cloth boots and hat, which is, you know, I can always use some of those. Uh, considering, no, we have armor today. We're not naked like the last few episodes that we have been. Let's see how long this guy's going to take. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe prime meat isn't what it's most effective for? That's what I used to tame this guy up, and maybe because we let him starve longer, her starve longer. That's probably why. Okay, let's just take all this out. Dump some of this raw meat in here. Alrighty, now we're going to go look for another Tyranodon to tame. Hopefully we can get one by the end of today. I'll show you the one we did tame up. Jumps don't hurt, so we'll be fine. Okay, where is that other Tyranodon? We've also got to put some plant species X's in those crop plots there, just to finish off the base. And then we'll probably get started on trying to make some... Auto turrets and expanding this little bit out for our dinosaurs. You can see here 173 is the Tyrannodon we tamed. This guy was a 130, but we accidentally hit him a few times. <laughs> Only once. It was enough to lower his uh, tame effectiveness though. So yeah, so we're going to go look for a higher level one now. Alrighty. So we kind of had a brain fart and realized, wait a second, it's not prime meat that the Thylacolio eats. It's cooked prime meat. So we've gone out for some more prime meat hunting and you can see we've got a full inventory of cardinal and hide we've also got prime meat down the bottom here so we're gonna head back to base cook some of that up but what we did just stumble upon was we actually got attacked by a bunch of compies and micro raptors we knocked out the micro raptor however the compie killed the micro raptor so we found this archaeopteryx and it doesn't really satisfy for the pteranodon but we're going to tame him up anyway because you know got to tame the more pokemon and He's not going to take that long to tame up since he's only a level 20. He was just kind of walking in front of us, so we were like, yeah, why not? They're pretty skittish, so we thought, might as well get the opportunity now to tame one up. I think we have a compy on our shoulder at the moment, actually, too. Yeah, we do. So, okay, hopefully this guy can follow us back, because I don't really want to pick him up because you look absolutely ridiculous with a Arctopteryx on your shoulder. How fast is he? Okay, he's pretty slow. We might, we might just leave him behind, to be honest. Um, so we're going to, hopefully he can follow us and keep up. But we're going to go back to base, cook some of this prime meat up, which is kind of hard when you've only got one campfire. But then hopefully we should be able to, no, go away, Pigomastix. We should be able to tame up that 135 Folicolio without losing too much. These are only female ones. Without losing too much uh, taming effectiveness. Where did that other Pegomastix go? We are after a male Pegomastix as well to breed our female Pegomastix with. Now, if you guys did watch the last episode, you probably remember that we did uh, breed a Microraptor and we got the baby from it. And unfortunately, we when we logged off, we didn't leave enough food in the trough. Um, so you can kind of imagine what happened next. We know, oh, hello. We no longer have a, uh, <laughs> a baby Microraptor due to its Passing away from hunger, uh, totally not what we intended. Okay, we're going to tame that 145 Tyranodon. Uh, what we need first, though, is we need to get a bowler. Do we have enough? What do we need? Uh, stone, perfect. Uh, okay, we lost where it's gone. We're going to get it back. Okay, that's enough to make a bowler. Uh, bowler it up. There we go. We can bowler it up now. We're a bit hungry here, so we're going to have some yummy raw meat to eat because there's nothing I like more to eat than some raw meat. Uh, no. Pull that out of his inventory, please. There we go. Oh, gosh. Wait, where'd it go? Um, there it is. Okay, so we're a bit all over the place today, as you can see. Hopefully, we can find that Pteranodon again. And hopefully, that Phylocolia that we knocked out hasn't woken up yet. Pretty sure it was just straight ahead from here. No. Where'd you go? Mr. Pteranodon. Oh, look, our base. Perfect. Let's just quickly check on the Phylocolia. Make sure it's still out. It's still out. Still got a bit to go. Is that the 145? No, that's a 20. Where did he go? Is that him up there? He's got to be around here somewhere. That's him there. That's got to be it. No? Okay. Well, we've lost the 145. Great. Great, great segue for the episode. Um, all right, we're going to try and find him again. See how we go. All righty. So we've done the thylacolia with a ton of cooked meat, some raw uh, cooked prime meat, sorry, that we had. It's lost quite a bit of taming effectiveness, but it's still going to end up being a pretty good tame. It's just going to take a long time. I forgot how long they took to tame up. All right, now that 145 Pteranodon, we've found him again in this general vicinity area. So we've got to try and find him. And then I'll bring you guys back when we're actually on him and hunting him down. Okay, so we found a 140 Pteranodon. We haven't had any luck finding that 145. So 
Instead, we're going to settle on 140 and we're going to tame this bad girl up because, hey, it's better than a 130 and it's... Oh, no, 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 come back. Okay, sure, don't bowl her or whatever. I don't understand how that didn't hit, but sure. Actually, hold on, this might be him over here. We've got two more choices of Tyrannodons. What's that? It's a 130 and a 90. Okay, good. So we found the best one. All right, uh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, good. All right, come on. Can we turn it on? I don't know if we if it's flying because we hit it. There we go, perfect shot. And, okay, I thought that was something else. Time for you to go to sleep. Good night, Miss Pteranodon. You'll be woken up and you'll be our new tame. And um, we should probably go back and check on our Thylacolio. We dumped another 40 Narcos in it, so we're hoping that'll be enough to keep it knocked out, but we're probably gonna have to make up some more. And would you look at that, another Archaeopteryx. So we're gonna knock this guy out too, since we've kind of forsaken the, uh, the other one down there. I don't know if he's walking because he can't, he's swimming, okay, whatever, sure. Lucky for us, we've got plenty of chitin in our inventory. Now we're going to go back and check on the Thylacolio, and then we're going to come back and tame the Tyrannodon, because we're going to need more prime meat, because the stuff in this guy's inventory at the moment isn't going to last the entire du du durality, however you want to say that word. <laughs> what else can go wrong today? Here he is. I was going to say, we lost the bloody Archaeopteryx already. All right, dump that in there. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how much they eat. This is only level 60. Oh, wow, that's really quick. Okay, so by the time we come back, he should be tamed up. So he's going to be a good indicator for when we can come back and we'll be able to find our Pteranodon pretty well. Now let's go check on the Thylacolio. We're going to need some prime meat, I think, for the Pteranodon as well. So we're going to go out and gather that as well. But other than that, we should have pretty much everything we need now so we can then expand on base building and get into some PvP action. Alrighty, so we're back at the Thylacolio. We've got all the meat in it. It's looking pretty good. It's at 50% roughly, yeah, you can see there. And it's at 76 taming effectiveness, so hopefully it can stay like that. We're gonna have to craft some more uh, narcotics, but um, hopefully he'll stay out. Now we're gonna go grab some prime meat, but we'll probably end the episode here, guys. It's gone on long enough. So thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Arc Insight, more Arc Top 5 guys. But other than that, you guys have yourselves a very nice day and I'll catch you in the next one.